I'm hitting one of my shortcut keys when I hit save as. <laughs> it's one of my stream shortcut keys that I have set up for ending stream, I guess. <laughs> when I hit save as, is control shift s, and that ends my stream. <laughs> I actually have that set up on a sh on a single button on the computer. I forgot that it was um, my shortcut key. I'm gonna have to fix that or something. I don't know if I do any more of this, anyways. But anyways, you open the PNG and then you open it as save as. We want to save it as the DDS file type, and we want to save it over the texture down in the. Um, in the livery. So you go to your texture livery folder. I named that folder wrong. <laughs> this one was supposed to be called tutorial. <laughs> that wouldn't have worked. That would have been embarrassing. That's supposed to be tutorial and then this one should actually be capitalized I think. Eh, I don't think it needs to be but it might work better if it is, because it is in the JSON files. So anyways, you go all the way down in here to your texture files, and then you want to save it as a DDS file over this, so you just select that there. And then save, and it'll s ask you if you want to replace it. You say yes, it brings up this, you hit the save button on that, and now you've saved your DDS file over the file that you're working on. Then we do the same thing that we did with that with the tail um, files. So you go back to your base file here, control S is just save if you wanted to save the file. I'm doing control shift S because I'm saving as. Hmm. Theoretically, I think you could, Catherick, but I don't know where the files are for the pilots. <laughs> so anyways, for the wings, we do the same thing. We open this here. Um, we have the base file here that we have to resize to make it the size uh, of... Oops, that's not what to do. This one. And uh, size of this file here that we saved out of Blender. Copy that. Paste it here, move the layer under the other layer, select the top layer, which is your details, and select it as multiply, which lets your colors and your paints um, shine through. And then we go through the whole saving process again, which I'm not going to do by pushing a button this time. We're going to save as a Photoshop document. And then we want to go, go and save as again, and this time I save it as PNG. This just is stu extra steps that I do to make sure that I have files on every like step of the process to fall back on. Now once you've saved it as the PNG, you can close your other files, and then you go back in here and you open the PNG directly, and then you hit File Save As again select the DDS file type and we go back down into our textures folder and we select the wings DDS and save over that one and it does the same thing that it did on the last one in case you missed it on the other one because I accidentally shut off my stream <laughs> that's how it's done once you've done that you can close this you're all done with all that. If you've got engines, you do the same thing just with that engines file that's in there. You'd have to change the file size up and everything like that. Now what you would do is go in here. Where are we? Where is it? Tutorial library. You go in here. Didn't I change the name of that? Thought I did. And 
Okay, well, whatever. It does that to me sometimes too, where it doesn't let me rename this folder, which is why I usually try to do it first with the name of whatever I want the f um, livery to be. And then I go down and I make sure that all my layouts and everything, mm, excuse me, are all set correctly. And then you go to this, and this is where you saved all of your, you know, pre-files. You just take the f file that you, the folder here, and copy it, and then you put it in wherever your community package, uh, packages community folder is where you add all of your other um, add-ins and mods for, and everything for uh, Flight Sim. So we just paste that in there. Um, now, if you'll just give me a moment, I'm going to save that and close, or not save that and close, because that was my tutorial. I'm going to close Photoshop to save some RAM. And we're going to try to open up Microsoft Flight Sim, and we'll see if I can find it in Microsoft Flight Sim here. What's that? Oh yeah, I was messing with sound devices before. I was turning on my stream. I was having issues with the desktop audio not coming through. And so I had to mess with my sound devices for a little while to figure it out. For some reason, it doesn't like the audio channel that my headset uses, so I had to switch my streaming software to listen on another audio channel. I did start that, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. So Microsoft Flight Simulator starts, which takes forever on my computer because I don't have it on an SSD. So we'll be waiting here for a second. <laughs> So how are you guys doing? Am I doing okay? I don't even know if I'm doing okay. Except for the two times that I stopped <laughs> accidentally. That was enjoyable. Thanks, Mint. Yeah, I imagine it does. It's a pretty big game, so <laughs> there's a lot of stuff there to load. Ow. Oh, I really gotta stop sitting on my legs. Ow. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, sitting on my legs is not good. It gives me a big bad cramp on my knee. <laughs> One of these days I won't be able to sit on my legs whenever I play Flight Simian because ow, I'll have pedals. Hopefully. <laughs> Crap, that hurts. I wonder if the kitty ever came out from under the bed. I don't see her in here yet. She'll come out when she's ready. Ow. Ah, press any key to start. And then it's the long wait to load into the menu. And after this, I am going to delete this uh, tutorial livery that I just made. Because it's just nothing that I actually made. It's just for demonstration purposes. But I will also be uploading this uh, video to YouTube and probably editing it a bit to... Uh oh, shoot, I don't know how I'm going to do that when I stopped a couple of times. I'll have to figure that out. <laughs> Maybe I can download it off Twitch and then put them all together in some Adobe software or something. I have like a Premiere Rush or something. That's a video editing software for Adobe. It's not very good, but... This takes forever. But yeah, I am liking my stream performance right now. This is actually really good with the 3080. I'm using the NVIDIA encoder on my streaming software, and it looks like it's working a lot better than it did previously for me when I was streaming back when I had the 1080. 
So I hopefully will be getting back to a lot more uh, frequent streaming now. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> my mic quality good for you guys I don't know how well this it's on um, just my headset microphone on my razor headset so I don't know if it's like functioning good hardware is within operating parameters, not too hot. The other day when I was playing Flight Sim, the CPU got up to like 75 at most, I think. Thanks for the host, Jesus Marine. I appreciate it very, 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 very much. Very much. Okay, so to check on your livery that you just put in, you can go over to your profile, go to your hangar. This is the one that we made earlier. You go down to your aircraft, you select the aircraft that you were on, select liveries, and then we have to find it. Tutorial. There it is right there. And hopefully it pops in right. Yep, there's the right colors underneath. We didn't paint the landing gear doors on this one, but and that's another thing you'd have to do. You'd have to rotate the model in Blender um, to get the nose and everything covered because there are parts of the nose. And this is a part that's annoying. You can't select this middle button directly from the... Um, after you've selected the delivery, you have to go back out. But there's little parts on the nose and stuff that you have to kind of fill in because they didn't quite fill in when you covered the sides. So you kind of go to another axis on Blender, and it puts it in um, front view mode, and you can select that, and you can also do like a top view mode to get things that show up like underneath the tail, um, and if anything is in the way, like if you're doing top down, the tail would be in the way if you're trying to finish off this part that's like right on top of the back of the plane there. Oops. So you'd have to kind of angle the model a little bit to get like this area right here to fill in. Like this part right here. You could do it from the back, but the back end of the plane is too flat. So that's how you get your livery into Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm going back to my other livery now. Our new Fly Mint livery is somewhere up here. It's before Frontier, actually. Yeah, because Frontier is FOR. There's our Fly Mint, which still has the Mint Airlines uh, preview image on it there. Go back in there. And that's our Fly Mint livery that we did this morning. Yeah, the thumbnail is still wrong for the fly mint livery. I'll have to fix that. But that's what we did on just the way that I just showed you um, this morning. So, what should we do now? <laughs> I think I'm going to go take care of my cat. Um, it's been fun. This was uh, interesting being back streaming again. I'll definitely have to uh, stream some more in the future. I'm glad you like it, Mint. <laughs> uh, I think the cat is still hiding under the bed. So I'm going to go uh, get that and uh, see how she's doing. And then uh, I'll talk to you again another time. So... Have a good day. See you later, guys.